the only entrepreneur I know from Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> why, did you, why did you share with us how you got started in business? It was totally accidental. I, I had no dreams or vision to become an entrepreneur. I didn't even know the concept, but uh, uh, I, I stumbled onto, um, uh, you could say, playing with importing cosmetics. I, was, uh, I had a background in cosmetics. I was an esthetician working in a beauty salon. My employer uh, wanted a particular brand that she had gotten used to in Germany, and it just so happened that a friend of mine had access to someone in Paris that was distributing this, and, and he kind of tricked me into starting importing this to Iceland as a hobby. And uh, <laughs> as a hobby. And um, with, with that in mind, that he would take care of the business side, and I would take care of the, the more therapeutic or, or sales and marketing and training side. And, uh, and I had worked for Lancome uh, Cosmetics in Iceland a year before that. And uh, so I had connections with all the stores in Iceland and I was able to bring this brand into all these stores. And then my partner, my friend, uh, wanted to do something different. And I, I wanted to give him back that brand because it came from him. And he mm -hmm. said, no, 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 this is yours. So. I had to decide whether to abandon the ship and let all my customers down that had uh, taken in and invested in this because of me, or simply just jump and learn on the job. That's what I did. So I is this um, normal f uh, activity for a, a woman in Iceland to be running a business? Uh, in those days, it was not normal. Uh -huh. uh, and I, but I, I have to say, I was so young and so ignorant that I didn't even think about that. Mm. I didn't think about that I was young. I didn't think about I was a female and maybe I shouldn't be doing business because I was a woman. I, I, just, I was just passionate and I think wanting to be of service and not letting people down that had trusted me. Mm -hmm. And that was really my drive. And, and when I was approached by the French embassy uh, that had people from Paris looking for an agent for a perfume brand, and they uh, called me in for a meeting, and, and I did everything to tell them to go to some of the bigger companies. And they said, no, we, 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 we want to bet on you. And then I had to really decide whether this was uh, going to be a hobby or, or become a serious company. So mm -hmm. I, I, that was my turning point in that. But it wasn't until much, much later that I realized that for some people, seeing a woman in business wasn't the norm. It was when I was being interviewed by business magazines and they would ask me, how is it to be a woman in business? Uh -huh. How is it to go to a bank manager? How is it to deal with your uh, competitors? <laughs> <laughs> but but I it, it, for me it it was it was just I did not have anything in me that said I couldn't do it because I was a woman. 